This week on Dude Stuff. I've literally built the perfect e-bike. Whoa, this thing's fast! Flat ground, completely flat ground now. What is going on guys? So I've got a sick project today. We're going to be doing a 2000 watt conversion on this absolutely gorgeous Trek Excalibur. The bike itself is a size large 29er, 1x12 speed. It's got this beautiful kind of pearlescent white colour with red graphics on it. Gorgeous bike, RockShock forks, really nice spec. It retails at about a thousand pounds. So this is the basis for our project today. And we're going to be doing a long range build. That is the prime objective today. I've gone out and bought an absolutely huge 52 volt battery to replace the standard already decent 52 volt 20 amp hour battery that you get standard in the Kirby bike kit, which is still a really good battery, but we're going to go bonkers today and build something that can hopefully do about 100 miles maybe. So I managed to pick up off of somebody this massive battery pack which is normally built with uh, something like 3000 milliamp hour cells and around 38 amp hours I believe. The manufacturer didn't have the usual cheaper cells so they've replaced them with more premium Samsung 50E cells which are 5000 milliamp hours meaning that this battery pack is now 40 amp hours, 2000 watt hours, which is insane. And I believe it's got a 60 or 80 amp BMS, so there is potential to upgrade the controller depending on a few factors that we'll get to in a minute. But the size of the battery itself is insane. Like if you, you come and have a look at how tight this thing is in, in here, as you can see, I've already removed the two bottle cage bolts that go in the frame here because it's that tight. I'm probably going to remove the bottle cage bolts here as well. Now this just about fits in when I tried it out. Very, very, very snug. There is very little room in there. But so it's almost like it's made to measure, but this also has to go, this also has to go in a frame bag, bear in mind. So we haven't actually figured out whether it fits. I'm gonna make it fit. It is gonna be very snug and hopefully not go anywhere. It's so tight, struggling to get it out. We're fitting a standard Kirby bike kit, 2000 watt. Normally comes as a wheel kit on its own, or you can buy it with a battery, which is 52 volts, 20 amp hours, LG cells, I believe. It's already an awesome kit, it's got a range to do most people. We're going to see what stepping it up a little bit can do on this conversion. This is quite a special bike and a bit of a special conversion. Better spec than usual. Now, one of the images I foresee with this is this Trek Excalibur comes as a 1x12 speed, which is a pretty damn huge cassette, which you do tend to get on the more premium bikes. I've never tried to fit a 12 speed and I'm pretty certain it is not going to fit on the cassette body of this Kirby bike kit so we are going to give it a try but the chances are I'm going to have to go out and get a 10 or 11 speed cassette. I, I, I can definitely remember fitting a 10 speed to one of these but I don't think I've, I can't remember if I've done 11 or not if I'm honest. We'll give it a go anyway if it don't fit we'll, we'll nip out and get a 10 or 11 speed cassette so we can do that so that's probably what we're going to do first although there is something more important for any of my builds and that is getting rid of the disgusting junk that comes on the bike that makes it look awful there's that done right we're good to go let's get the back wheel off and prove whether we can or can't fit a 12 speed in so I can let you guys know can you fit a 12 speed. Going back to the battery quickly before we begin I believe it's got an 80 amp BMS it was either 6 or 8 I'm pretty certain it's 80 amp so there is a slight possibility I may increase the standard controller. This is the standard sine wave controller which is lovely and compact nice and quiet that comes with the Kirby bike kit now. Uh, it's got the new style plug for the phase cables. Nice little controller, very quiet, does a good job. But with this battery and this BMS, we have got, there is a possibility of upgrading the amps. The amps will give us more acceleration than you normally get. I'm considering it, but I have got a couple of controllers, I believe 60 or 80 amps laying around, but they are more geared towards 3000 watt kits that are like 60 volts or so. And they have got much 
much thicker phase cables which may cause a bit of an issue I might have to solder new plugs I don't know whether it, I don't know if it's going to work out we'll, we'll get to that so basically a massive upgrade to the range possible upgrade to the controller either way we're going to make this a special build let's get into it unfortunately the 12 speed that come off of this bike did not fit but it's not for the reasons that you might imagine the inside of the cassette and the spline on the wheel to come on the Trek Excalibur 8 was a micro spline pattern so it wasn't down to the sizing so that was the bad news the good news is I've been to my local bike shop and they did have a 12 speed with a normal spline pattern and it has actually fit fitted onto this 2000 watt hub wheel which I'm absolutely amazed this huge 12 speed has actually fitted on but it is properly properly tight the main one the main issue I foresee is I'm not sure whether the chain is going to hit on these silver bolts on this first gear it's going to be tight but I think it might work worst case going to have to block off this first gear but going to have to space this out with washers as normal but that's absolutely amazing I never thought you'd get a 12 speed on a 2000 watt hub wheel so hopefully we can get a legit 12 by 1 speed so now comes the fun part of just getting this on the bike the reason I've done it this way round and done the wheel first it's because I like to fit the wheel on upside down so I've got gravity on my side for the dropouts to drop into. Um, I didn't want to put that massive battery in before flipping it over so I'd rather get the wheel on first and then flip it back over the normal way and then we'll fit the battery and start making a decision on the controller. Yeah, now just comes the fun part of getting the wheel back on. So I'll get the wheel on, we'll flip it over and then we'll start looking at getting this battery in the bag and seeing if we can shoehorn this huge battery into this large size frame. Right guys, what's going on? So yesterday it ended up taking forever. I've, it's got to be one of the hardest batteries to squeeze in the frame. It was this corner up near the seat post tube it was very, very, very tight. I ended up trying all methods of getting the battery and in the end put the bag in the bike first and had to hold the bag with the zip undone with a pair of pliers and kind of pull on the pliers and shove the battery in. It took a long time but all done, batteries in and now we're going to look at do we upgrade the current 2000 watt controller with a higher amp controller. So with the standard Kirby bike battery that this normally comes with you wouldn't be able to do this kind of upgrade standard off the standard battery and wheel and everything mostly because um, the BMS is going to be limited to probably, I don't even know the spec, but it's going to be close to sort of 30, 40 amps or something like that and the capacity of the battery won't allow for drawing the extra amps. But with this new battery, it is possible to upgrade it. So I have got this 60 amp controller, which I got sent maximum 3000 watt. I got, I got given this by a Kirby bike to possibly test out on a project so this wouldn't be any good for the standard 2000 watt kit and a two, standard 2000 watt battery the BMS and the battery specs wouldn't handle it this battery probably will but even so I, I wouldn't recommend doing this upgrade and hammering it non-stop because you're still going to put a lot of strain on the phase cables because this 3000 watt has got much thicker phase cables than the standard 2000 watt wheel um, but I think it should be alright, we're going to give it a go. So I've got this massive 60 amp controller which I'm going to try and install under the frame, something like that. Um, but I've got a lot of stuff to do. I've got to upgrade the phase cable connections because the standard 2000 watt kit has this three pole connector and they're only rated for about 30 amps, maybe 40 at the most. I'm going to be using these 6mm banana plug type connectors which are rated for 150 amps. I'm going to replace the phase cable connections with these so they should be able to withstand the extra current. The controller I just showed you has got like a I think it's 5 pin connection. It hasn't got a standard yellow display port so I've managed to find a decent new full colour display to go with this setup and I have gone and got a full twist throttle because if this bike's long range I feel like you could ride for maybe sort of six hours maybe so 
you want a nice comfortable throttle that's not going to hurt your thumb. Right, so I'm just going to finish up now, get the display on, get all the soldering done, which is my least favourite pastime, but it's got to be done. And hopefully we'll see what difference this makes. It's going to have more range, more, hopefully more acceleration. We're increasing the amps by 50%, if, if my maths is right. We're going up from 40 amp controller to 60 amp controller, so that's a 50% increase which is probably about the max you'd ever want to go to um, yeah so we'll see you guys on the other side <laughs> we are all done guys, completely done, I've colour matched the wheels with white spoke covers, done all the cabling tidy, I changed out the twist for all because I didn't like the one that I bought and all the gears are sorted, all 12 of the 12x1 Shimano gears are fully working. I'm also really excited to announce that I'm going to be doing raffles again, I'm going to be giving away this e-bike build which has taken me three days to build, well over two grand to build and I'm going to be giving it away for as little as two pounds so check out the link in the video description put your entry in because someone's going to get an absolute bargain and a, and a complete beast of a build anyway time to get this thing out on the road and see what it rides like let's go all right guys I tried doing the range calculator for this bike because I calculated it would take about six hours to do the full range which I'm not going to do so I want to give this bike away on a raffle with no not next to no moulds on it and it would only go up to 30 amp hours. So that gave us 97 and a half miles range. So I'm estimating this goes well over 100 miles range. Whoa, this thing's fast. Really fast. Wow. Oh my God. 49.5, 50. 50 miles an hour coming off the throttle. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, my eyes are streaming and everything. Wow. Hit 50.5 then. I mean, I've got all the wheel sights set up accurate, so obviously, give or take. Give or take the accuracy of the speedo, and they're not normally far off because I've tested them before on many occasions. But this is actually a little bit quicker top end than the standard 2000 watt kit, even though it's still 52 volts. I think what's happening is you're not getting as much voltage sag when you're keeping it at peak power, and that's allowing it to like draw more current. Well now we're going up the steepest hill in my area. I mean, I'm not even pedalling and we're doing 33.3 miles an hour. 34 now, it's getting steeper. Absolutely insane bike. I want to keep this bike under low mileage so I can give this away to one of the subscribers. So, can't deal with the wind. Not 50 mile an hour anyway in a pair of shorts and sliders. That was incredible. Even going downhill. Like on flat ground this thing is probably still going to hit 45. Which is mental. You don't really want to go any faster than that. So I would say this is about as much as you'd ever want from a 
e-bike in terms of range, speed. I've literally built the perfect e-bike. So have a little go on the flat ground. Quick little dash. Up to 36 straight away. 40. Flat ground. Completely flat ground now. 42. Tuck it in. 43. Almost 44 miles an hour then. Crazy. Oh God. This has been one hell of a project guys. And I'm actually quite excited to get these raffles back up and going. I've given away five e-bikes in the past. Really, really made some of the subscribers happy. I've got e-bikes for an absolute bargain. So check out the link in the video description to win this e-bike for, for as little as two pound. And I'll see you guys in a video soon. Take it easy. Hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. See you guys soon.